guys. Welcome to ACP TV. I'm Rita Cook. I'm Terry Murphy. And we have been off a couple of weeks, but we're back. Yeah. Nice to see you. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a couple of weeks for sure. Yeah. So we're going to do two weeks worth of um, news today. And we'll, we'll start with um, the Ferris provides own EMS after Care Flight cancels contract. And actually, this was a story that even got picked up in the Irving Weekly today. Yeah. It was it was a pretty good story. Um, Brooks Williams, the city manager over there, he first Care Flight had decided that they were going to terminate their contract. And from what I understand, it was it was nothing to do with the city. It was basically that after COVID, it just said that a lot of there's a nationwide EMT paramedic staffing shortages, and so this is what happens. Um, and so they were in the middle of trying to figure out what to do with that and they were working with the Ellis County um, Fire Marshal's office and then the contract negotiations for who Ellis County uses actually got terminated as well not Ferris but just in Ellis County overall from the American medical response so Brooks decided to take matters into his own hands and so they are now going to offer the own um, paramedic services here in the city I believe that the um, public safety employees um, that were eligible went to train on how to do this yeah so that is a good thing and then it also mentioned let me put my glasses on it also mentioned that billing for ambulance services is being approached with citizens in mind and ferris will bill insurance companies medicaid and medicare for services rendered and this starts on october 7th as long as we have service yeah right? yeah I, oh, we're worried. I know they were using um some of the other entities around here and they still will like all the cities around here back up each other yeah you know so it's like if you you know there's just it's a, there's a lot of little towns around here or little cities and, some give and take yeah so that's good because sometimes it is better to just have things in your own you know under your own jurisdiction and then you kind of know more about what's going on right so um ellis county passed their budget and their tax rate the commissioner's court did and i had mentioned in the week before that i was watching the show that well the show <laughs> i was watching the commissioner's court it turned into a show and judge little was having some conversation with um the district attorney and montgomery about adding a new attorney because they have I think three attorneys right now that do criminal cases and they needed to add an attorney to just handle civil cases that were related to the commissioner's court and there was a lot of back and forth on that but um, it did pass in the budget so that happened what was the so there was a former Grand Prairie teacher who was sentenced to 15 years yeah, it was, was in that? Grand Prairie ISD it's, there's been so many of these recently I know you almost can't keep track all, all from different places but uh, he was a middle school teacher, uh, and his name was Matthew Ramos. He's 34 from Middle Othian. He's sentenced to 15 years for improper relationship with a student. He pled guilty, uh, I believe, on September 21st. Okay, I believe what happened was they were passing images, back, photos back and forth on yeah, text. Yeah, I guess they were texting. He was keeping in contact. I guess he gave the number, his number to him. And I guess the students, some of the students knew about it and yeah. he knows what was going on. And so. Yeah, yeah and, and the penalty is 1 to 20 years, and yeah. he got uh, 15. Okay. All right, so. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff like that going on it's right now. too much of that going on. <clears throat> um, I know that the bans, the fire ban, the burn ban has been um, rescinded in Ellis County, and the water ban that was going on in the city of Ferris is also rescinded. So you can water your yard again and mow the yard again. And burn. If you, yeah, if you so choose. So um, there was a three-car vehicle, or actually it was a three-vehicle accident over on I-45 near Ennis, near the Bucky's over there. Two tractor trailers and a car. One of the tractor trailer drivers was killed yep. and as of when I wrote the article earlier this week they did not know what caused um, all of that to happen they just knew that somebody that there was that I-45 is is dangerous it is dangerous it's crazy highly. dangerous yeah and Avila had their Heritage Day. We went out to it and checked it out. Wilmer had its Pioneer Days, and they had some really amazing bands. Um, Jade Flores played there. She's a country singer who was in um, one, a nominee for American Idol to get to the, I think she was the Texas um, candidate or whatever you want yeah. to call it. And so, anyway, we, we had her on DJ. The they had DJ Sprinkles. It was a Sprinkles. Uh, DJ K Sprinkles, a father and daughter team. And I know that I wrote the article about that. And the DJ, uh, the girl was like, it was really cool to meet the mayor. And Mayor Petta in Wilmer is a really cool person. 
So uh, Ferris had their um, has a Ferris University that goes for ten months. So are you gonna do that? No. <laughs> You're not gonna go learn everything about the city. No. It's, it's I already really, know everything. It's a cool thing, and um, so that's that's a good that's a good thing for people who are just trying to learn a little bit more about city politics. I also noticed that DeSoto finally gets in gear and beats Waxahachie. There's some really amazing teams here in Texas. I know when I used to cover sports, there was always people that were being um, recruited, or what is it called when they come and find you? Um, Scouting. Scout. I know the scouts were always were always really excited about the people that were coming out of the best Southwest in, in Ellis County. So there you go. And let's see what else we got going on here. What else is in? The, what was last week that we can update folks on? Oh. Harrison, Brian Harrison is, um, he's District 10 U.S., um, not U.S., Texas representative, and he is, him and Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick have called for, from the tax auditor, an accounting of all the money that was spent on the Ken Paxton impeachment, which did not work, and Harrison has also called for Speaker of the House Phelan to resign because he wasted so much time and likely money on the impeachment what when... As Harrison said, instead of handling important issues, because they only are in session every two years, and they've had two special sessions this year, um, the securing of the border, passing school choice, banning COVID mandates, fixing the grid and energy market, reining in emergency executive powers, cutting spending, ending property taxes, deregulating the economy, and stopping communist governments from buying Texas land. However, the Speaker of the House, Phelan, decided that it was more important to see if he could impeach Ken Paxton, and that was a waste of taxpayers' dollars. Think about these things next time you at the ballot. <laughs> Going to vote. All right. And then what else happened? What All happened right. year before? I mean, year the, week, the week before. I am not feeling well today, and that is why I have my turmeric, pineapple, lemon, <laughs> and passion fruit. You probably shouldn't even be sitting this close to me because you I may never, be, I never get sick. I don't either. And we've already had that conversation, but we might get sick someday. You never know. It could happen. Um, there was two wreck, two accidents last week on I-45. Yeah. Two more. Two more. Um, one guy, actually, they don't know what happened, but he ended up driving southbound. He was driving southbound. He ended up in the northbound side. I think he got yeah, stuck in that traffic. he probably had a heart attack or something like that, but we don't know. Yeah. And then the other one was uh, another wrong way driver, and there was no one killed, but there was quite. There were about three injuries. One of them was a baby. And that highway, I was driving that highway today. I was like, the energy on this highway is... Yeah, it's, it's known as the highway of death. Yeah, well, thanks for sure. For good that. reason. What's the high-speed rail situation that you looked into? Well, you know, what I was reading about it mm-hmm. uh, was that it's a lot of money, and uh, it's looking at $555 billion infrastructure. That is a lot of money. <laughs> I know. That's that's a lot of money, and they sent it to Joe Biden to quickly sign, and uh, honestly, I don't I don't know why he would sign a $555 billion thing just for a train to go quickly from here to Houston. I don't get it, but... Um, I was just thinking about something of that called... It's, um, I don't think that that man does anything <laughs> quickly. No, I know. He can't even... To sign it quickly. Come on. Sign it fast, Joe! Can he even do that? I don't know. Uh, there's executive powers and all that crap, but who knows? Yeah. I don't know. I know it's a Democrat versus a Republican issue, at least it was when I was covering it. But it'll be a really story. cool train if they do build it, if you want to go to Houston real quick. I will, uh, you know, it might be the only way once the 15 The tickets would be in. probably outrageous to pay for that thing. It's, it's going to... They'd sit. have to be at least... We're going to be dead while dollars. we're still talking about it. A thousand dollars. You would think for a $555 billion train? Jeez. We'll never get that paid off, will we? No. But right now, the U.S. Um, the U.S. debt is $33 trillion. One trillion yeah, what's, that. what's $555 billion? I know, billion, right? Actually. It's like, what the heck? I mean, how? And then we keep giving Ukraine all this money. And so that's going to be yeah. on In Lies the Truth if you yeah. ever watch that. Okay, well, we're out of time. Yeah. And um, it's nice seeing you again. Yeah. I'm Rita Cook. Terry Murphy. We are ECP TV, and we want you to like, subscribe, yeah. and what else? Make comments. Tell Get us how much you love us. the notification bell. All right. See you guys. Thanks Bye. for watching. Cheers.